There are TikTokers and news media outlets that want to cancel a cartoon dog. Dog, what? Okay, apparently, yeah, I don't know, man. This, this is a crazy world we live in. And I thought, you know what? I, this would be some great content for the channel. Like, it seriously is getting ridiculous of how soft people are getting. But yeah, the TV show that is in question is called Bluey, if you didn't know. And I'm sure a lot of you know about this show because it's going viral everywhere on TikTok. Yeah, I'm not even joking. This is a real headline from, like, articles and shit. Bluey accused of toxic fat shaming in exercise episode. And do you think it's like some one, one news outlet? Oh, no, you're wrong. There's been many TikToks and tweets about this. Bluey fans, we need to talk. What is this stuff? Yeah, you read that right. This is one of the tweets. I adore at official Bluey TV and the messages it sends, except in the latest episode, Exercise, where weight becomes a trigger for exercise. Watching Bandit stand on a scale and squeeze his belly, frowning, sends a message to kids that fat equals bad and exercise equals weight loss. <laughs> Upsetting! Okay, that was, that was a bit dramatic. Hashtag Bluey. But it's just crazy how much of a rampage people are on about this episode and... Apparently, the dad wanting to exercise is fat phobic. And apparently, there's this one episode in Bluey where everyone is just calling it fat phobic for some odd reason. I don't think I can play the full clip, unfortunately, but I'll voice over. So, dad goes to weigh himself and he says, Oh man, because he's putting on some unwanted weight, he's putting on some pounds. And I'm assuming the main character, who's Bluey, asks him, Why? Why'd you say, Oh man? And he said that he needs to do some exercise. And he pokes at his belly fat. I guess this is where everyone got all mad at a goddamn kids show, by the way. This is like the most family-friendly it gets. Like, it's crazy. I've never watched the show in my entire life, but so far, this scene looks like a normal day-to-day -day life. Obviously, people who just spend their days getting mad at everything can't really, can't really decipher that. Like, Bluey's dad wants to exercise and lose weight. Like, I, I, I can't believe I'm explaining this to, like, 20 plus year olds like that that is insane how is that fat phobic let's say bluey's dad's a real guy how would that be fat phobic that he himself wants to exercise and lose weight he said he has to exercise not oh i have to eat less like that that would be a completely different story but i don't know why but people don't think promoting exercise is a good thing apparently and the next part of the clip the kids say oh we won't get in the way and then the dad said it'll be late and obviously kids don't understand that your job is on the line and maybe it sucks and he don't want to go to it, but you don't, you got to get the bread. Basically saying he's really short on time and saying he can't really do it. But yeah, all of us here with normal brains can say that this isn't fat phobic at all. Like they're acting like they said, oh, fat people should die in a hole, bro. I got to lose this weight. It genuinely just blows my mind. And after Australian news anchors and TikTok accounts were clipping up this and saying, oh, it's fat phobic, it got worse because many TikTokers started making rants about a kid's show. Many of these videos came with negative comments, of course, such as how dare they show realism. For fuck's sake, just let us have something, please. I think it's very relatable. People find any excuse to hate on anything and everything. On God, bro, they just nitpick everything. And all these are top comments and have a very sizable amount of likes. How Bluey has let kids down. Bluey recently screwed up in a pretty big way. Bluey recently screwed up in a pretty big way, and it's made a lot of people angry. But basically that in and of itself is a really problematic narrative to have on a children's television show. But yeah, a lot of rants spawn for this because people think it's problematic. Like, I don't get what's so problematic with wanting to go to the gym, be healthier, lose some weight. Like, he said he needs to exercise. It's a healthy thing to promote. I, I just don't get it. Y'all remember those Play 60 commercials back in the day where it said, like, oh, play, play outside 60 minutes of the day. Be active for, like, 60 minutes. Am I gonna sit there and call them fat phobic? Like, no. It just seems like a reach, and they're saying it just because he said he, he wants to lose weight. When we know that most girls, by the time they're nine, think about dieting, think they're overweight, and really have a problem with body image already. There's a couple ways to solve this problem. Like, obviously, there's healthy ways, and then there's unhealthy ways to lose weight. And he said he needs to exercise, which is a healthy way to lose weight. 
What the fuck is the problem? And plus, if we really want to get... I'm actually technical here, bro. The, the Timmys, they're not going to be paying attention to this narrative at all. They're just going to be looking at the screen like, ooh, colors. They're not really going to understand what's happening. So are they even going to understand the narrative anyway? No. I'm just smelling a fat reach, bro. Sort the first of. one is that we just not let the kids watch the episode. But that's not really going to work because kids are going to see this messaging in many places throughout their lives. So it's actually better to use this episode of a relatively- Whoa, it's almost like it's a real life situation. Oh my God, of course they're gonna see it. This whole scene is based off a real life scenario. Dad wants to go to gym, but doesn't have time to because he needs to provide for family and he's living a sedentary lifestyle and doesn't want it. Like that fucking happens in like so many households. This is a crazy analysis for a car for some goddamn cartoon dogs, bro. That that's all. I'm gonna say, man. Holy shit. But not telling them about, like, exercising will probably hurt them in the long run. ...a safe children's television show to start the discussion about body image, about how we treat our body, about not body positivity or body negativity, but body neutrality. If they weren't taught this, they, they would still be eating, like, dinosaur chicken nuggets and, like, mac and cheese and french fries at, like, 20 years old. Like, do you want that? No. They, I'm sure you would want your kid exercising and eating somewhat healthy. Those dinosaur nuggets and them smiley french fries gotta go bye-bye at some point. Because, well, they're not healthy. And me personally, I'd rather it be much sooner than later. Because the truth is, it doesn't matter what your body looks like. It matters how it feels. And that's the most important thing that we need to teach our children. Okay, so if you took someone that's like my weight and then Nick Avocado, there's gonna be a huge difference. Like, because obviously if I was carrying around all that weight, waddling around like eat that prison food, I wouldn't be too happy. And my body would feel much more sluggish because I, I need to use a lot more energy to carry around that, that gigantic mass. Because me personally, I would not be happy lugging around that eat that prison food weight. Sample for your kids. What brand it's doing reflects what we used to think about bodies and it's really unhealthy for people because it doesn't matter what your body looks like or how much it weighs, it matters how it feels. Does it feel good? Are your muscles feeling stiff? Are you like there's a reason why I say I feel like a tub of lard after eating like a whole tub of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Like that's why people correlate those terms together because it relates to weight. I don't know why you're trying to sugarcoat it, but yes, weight has a lot to do with dieting and exercise. I recently added veggies to my diet like a year ago and stopped eating a lot of sugar and holy fuck, difference is crazy. And it's just interesting how this narrative about like how your body feels, oh, it's all about how your body feels, but most likely if if you look like Nick Avocado, your body isn't going to feel good. Like, how is saying, oh, I'm gonna exercise more toxic in any way? It just doesn't make any sense. Like, he never even said anything about, like, the quantity of food he was eating or anything like that. He just said, oh, I have to exercise more. I don't know how I have to explain this, but apparently it just it's just not adding up for some people. If not more beneficial to people without the scales and without the squidging of the belly fat. You know, the dad dog, I don't watch Blake, but the dad dog could have been like, oh, my back hurts. Or, you know, like, I have been feeling a bit stiff lately. And My back hurts. <gasps> like, jeez, are you really trying to sugarcoat life? Like, this is the this is real life. And if anything, I would have hated the fact that it was sugarcoated for me when I was a kid. Like, I already hated being lied to as a kid. But they're going to see this messaging throughout the world anyway, so why? Might as well prepare them for realistic situations. And then, like, the mom dog could have been like, let's go and, like, do some movement. You know, it's still the same kind of messaging without the weight stigma attached. I, I love how the way this is phrased. Let's do some <laughs> movements, like exercise is like a terrible no-no word or something. This video is really weird. And plus, I had to zoom in on her face because there was like some sort of poster. Now that is something that needs to be hidden from children because what the fuck? Because it will scar them for life. So uh, you're welcome, by the way. And apparently, if I'm hearing this correctly, they completely removed the scene from the episode. And yeah, they bent the knee. They bent the knee to the cancel culture mob, which is what you don't want to do in these situations. Bending the knee to something that minuscule is crazy, and you're gonna completely remove the hard work that your animators put into that little little scene alone.
Like, I recently got into animation with this channel called The Duck on screen, but Jesus, even, like, stick figure animation is difficult for me. Just imagining how much hard work just went down the gutter, it just blows my mind. Now, they completely edited the episode and removed it altogether. I don't even watch the show because, one, I'm not a parent, and two, I'm not a kid. Get straight to the point, I was watching Wally with my kids, and I've actually never seen this movie before. I was so extremely appalled about how fat phobic this movie was. Wally's too far. Yeah, we're done. We're not doing this again. Anyways, comment Wally if you made this far. Thank you to my channel members, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.